Our next guest is an actor, writer, director, and comedian. His new stand-up comedy special, Rami Youssef, More Feelings, premieres March 23rd on HBO and Max. Please welcome Rami Youssef. <laughs> Oscars too. Hey, did anyone tell you that you did a good job? Uh, yeah, a lot of people. Thank you. It's not. You did a good, <laughs> and it looked like you were having fun. It, well, you know what? Sometimes I do have fun, uh, not often, but occasionally it sneaks in. And that's, I, I think that's what I felt like. I was like, I think this might be the first time I've ever seen Jimmy happy. And, yeah, and, you know, yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's I got a real kick out of what you said at the Oscars after you presented the live action short, uh, which is really funny. <laughs> well, I was very excited to present, and uh -huh. then Wes Anderson wasn't there. Right. And somehow he won short film, and I, so I said, wow, you know, can, I, we knew, yeah, we knew he could make long films, but this is a feat <laughs> for him I to, think get you to said, do this. We knew he could make long. <laughs> <laughs> we knew he could make long, but wow. <laughs> But wow. He really made me laugh. He's really it. challenging the art form, yeah. Hey, when you accept, when somebody doesn't show up and uh, you accept the Oscar on their behalf, do you get to keep the Oscar on, or do you have to send that to them? They didn't even let me touch it. Like, I was not allowed <laughs> anywhere near it. They gave it to Issa. It was very clear that I was not going to be allowed to be Did there. Issa take it and carry it around to the parties? I, I think she still has it. Yeah, yeah. May, I would keep it, too. Is, was Poor Things your first movie? Yeah. It was. It, well, it was, it was, yeah, thank you. Yeah. It, was, I mean, it, was, it was like my first big role. I think I'd been cast a couple other times. I never had a name. I was always like guy in, in bar. <laughs> uh, I was guy in bar once. I was guy in kitchen once. And one time I was guy. <laughs> and then I was cut out of two of them. And one of them, you can kind of see me in the corner. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. so this was one where I got to be in the film. I was so happy when I saw you in the movie. I really was. I was like, hey, it's Rami. Like, you know, I mean, we barely even know each other, but I was just excited to see you. You, um, and, and that's great for Yorgos Lanthimos. He must have watched your show and said, this guy's a really good actor. He, right? he had watched the show. He'd seen the stand-up and then asked me to do something totally, so I got to do this British accent, and it was really fun. And do, could you, at the time he asked you if you could do a British accent, could you do a British accent? No. No. So I had to go to... Like British accent school. Oh, there is a school. It's, it's like a guy named Neil. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, so mm. just like hang out with Neil for you two months. You and Neil hang then, out, and learn. Then you're British. And uh, so then you guys got so many awards. You got uh, a whole bunch of 11 Oscar nominations. You won a whole bunch of different. Oh, it's like really like being a rookie baseball player and going to the World Series in your first season. Yeah, and, and I'm not, it, I'm, I'm in shock. Because I'm used to, you know, I, I've done my show, which oh. people who like it really like it. Right. And then, yeah, thank you. Yeah, That's very kind. It's very yeah. kind. It is a great show. But, the, but then I think a lot of people are just like, oh, yeah, I think I saw a billboard by LAX. I haven't seen it. I don't know what it is. And then to be in a room where everyone's seen the movie, it's a totally different experience. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. something, huh? It's really cool. <laughs> did yeah. you go to the parties after the Oscars? Yeah. Yeah, I went Which to the, parties did you go to? The Vanity Fair party. It's just everyone goes to it. Uh-huh, right. It was really cool. Because you yeah. see just, um, like, Scorsese. <laughs> did you talk to him at all? Yeah. Was... Did he know you from Poor Things? Yeah, which was cool because when I, when I won the Globe, I, I remember going up on stage and looking out, and I saw Scorsese, and I was like, I don't think this guy knows me. So then I opened up my speech being like, listen, I know none of you know who I am. <laughs> and then five years later to be with Scorsese, and we're talking, and he'd seen the film. It was really cool, because wow. he's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, he's your favorite. He's my favorite. And, and then I like, so I see him, and then I look over, and I see the Lakers. Which was the Lakers? The, like the Lakers. They were at the party. Yeah, which I okay. So I'm a big LeBron fan. I'm a huge LeBron fan. I, I huge, uh -huh. which is kind of why I was upset he was there. What do you mean you're upset? Because they're not in the playoffs right now, right? And, and I need them focused. <laughs> like I need you home. And Did you share that with yourself. LeBron? No, I didn't want to talk to him because I, I knew we'd have too much fun. He'd stay out later. I see. <laughs> have you yeah. ever talked to him? Have you ever had a conversation with him? No, I, I sat courtside right next to him once, and uh, they were losing. It didn't feel like a good time. <laughs> You're always around at the worst possible times. It's... 
And he's like my hero. Oh, right, yeah. Wow, yeah. him and uh, Marty Scorsese, yes. yeah. Quite a height difference between your heroes. <laughs> You, um, you. I know you're very uh, close with your family. You talk about your family a lot. Have they seen poor things? They have, uh -huh. yeah. And I kind of had to prep them, you know. <laughs> hey, you're from a very religious family. Yeah, and, and, and so I had to kind of say, hey, listen, you know, I, I keep my clothes on. <laughs> Nobody else does, but I do. <laughs> and then I kind of told them, you know, it was my idea to keep my clothes on, and I did it for you. Uh, <laughs> like I told them, I was like, he wanted me to be naked, and I said, no, because of my parents, and he respected that. They believe that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that helped, that helped dull it. Did you watch the movie with them? Yeah, I, I brought them to the premiere, um, but I put, I put my buddy Dave Merhej, he, he's on my show, he plays my buddy Ahmed, and mm -hmm. I put him oh, yeah. between me and my mom. Why? Like, as a buffer, because I was like, I don't, I need her to absorb, like, just get his awkwardness in the middle of her. It was good. That's good, yeah. It was you, um, this I didn't, I, boy, I didn't put this together, but Chris Storer, who's the creator of the show The Bear, um, was executive producer on Rami with yeah. you. And he, not only did you know, he direct uh, some of your episodes, you directed one of his episodes of The Bear. Yeah, it was really fun. And he directed your comedy special yeah. also. Yeah, it was really, really yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. I just learned this today. So now, which episode of The Bear did you direct? I directed the episode in the second season where we go to Copenhagen. Oh, so, that's a good yeah, one. It was really, really on the fun. boat and everything. On the boat, and we go to Noma, which is one of the biggest fine dining experiences. I think in the they world. say it's like the best restaurant in the world. They say it's the best restaurant in the world, and they let me and Lionel work there for a day. <laughs> which they've work? never like. We got to work from the beginning of the day all the way through dinner service. We got to prep. We got to serve people food and, and make plates. Uh, and, and it's really kind of sad, actually, because it's a table that some people wait a year for. And I yep. thought people would be truly devastated if they knew after a year, like, I made their food. <laughs> <laughs> like, this food has been prepared by comedian. Do you, like, do you cook? Do you have food making experience? Very little. Up until then, it was microwave. <laughs> level stuff. And they don't allow any microwaving there at Noma? I bet, I think they have a secret microwave. I swear they do. <laughs> but I couldn't find it. But it came out good? There were no complaints in the kitchen? No. It, at a certain point, the chef said, you should watch this part. And we got phased out slowly. Oh, you did. And I think I was also getting under, like, definitely under his skin, because I, I worked in food once before uh, at Panera Bread. <laughs> and, and we'd be... <laughs> <laughs> We'd be in the middle of something really intense, and I'd say, you know, this reminds me of at Panera. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody wanted to hear that. I mean, that was... I kept saying it, and certain people would slowly distance themselves from me. <laughs> like, Lionel was with me, and Lionel would be like, he's about to talk about Panera. And he would, because I was doing it the whole... Hey, the whole you week. know what? Be proud of your roots. <laughs> Rami Youssef, everybody. His uh, special is called Rami Youssef. More feelings. You can see it premiering March 23rd on HBO and Max. Thanks for being here, Rami. We'll be back with Kristen Maroney.